to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 92, the Fiend Bray Wyatt, or Burnt Fiend figure from Mattel, and the, of course, the coveted Elite 92, Adam Cole. Now, I do not have the chase just yet, and it's so stupid because I, I thought I ordered it on eBay. Like, I found it on eBay for a solid price, so I thought I purchased it. Apparently, I didn't. I, I guess I never did it. Maybe I was late night shopping, added it to the cart, never finished the purchase, so that sucks. I do not have the official War Games Adam Cole just yet, but we will get that. But we do have a really nice teal, green, blue style colorway going on for this gear that I'm excited about, and it's going to be, of course, Adam Cole's last figure, and probably Bray Wyatt's last figure. This set is just full of craziness, to be honest with you, but the long-awaited Adam Cole and Burnt Fiend figures. This set, I don't know how I feel about it. We'll have to wait until the very end of the set to figure out that case, but here are both figures here, man. On the side, you do get a great image shot of both talents there. On the back, another great image shot of both talents. I think they look pretty solid. Dumb red lights going on with the Fiend, of course. If you want to read their little bios, you can pause it now. Spinning it around, you do have their names on the side there, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging. Now, I will say, when I first saw the Burnt Fiend figure, they changed a lot of things about this, right? Because the first time we saw this, it had this ugly brown color going on. It looked like caramel or something. It was very weird. Now they have these more realistic gray and burnt tones that I really like. They got a lot of crazy sculpts going on with it. If you're a sculpts guy or just one for detail, this figure is going to be insane. A lot of one-on-one -on -one molds. That I think this figure is pretty much sculpted brand new from head to toe, which we're going to get into. And then Adam Cole is probably just a repaint with some double jointed arms. But we're going to get into all those things, man. We're going to break everything down. And another thing I wanted to add is about this packaging. I love the way it looks mock, but opening them up is a pain in the ass. I'll be honest with you. I don't like opening these figures up. It's very hard to do. It's not It's not easy and simple like it used to be, where it's just, you know, you cut the one piece of tape and you can open it up and reveal the figure. Now it's kind of got an AEW unrivaled style going on where you have to cut it in multiple places and kind of be precise about it, and it's just, it's a bit annoying, but let's shut the hell up and get into the review. So here is Burnt Fiend and Adam Cole out of their packaging, man, and I'm actually quite shocked at some things. We're going to get into all the details of course throughout these figures but I don't know man the my first thoughts off I don't I don't want to get into anything I really do want to let this review play out and I'll get into all my final thoughts at the end but I don't know man you you just have to hear me out just hear me out across the board for for this wave and, and what we got going on with these figures very interesting very interesting stuff going on through and through I'm very excited to dive into all the details with you guys and get into it but what we're going to do first is dive into the fiend's accessories and the fiend and then we'll run it back and take a look at Adam Cole at Adam Cole Bay Bay's accessories I didn't like the way I said that it was very weird. However, but with all that being said, let's dive into the Fiend's accessories. So getting into the Fiend's accessories, guys, you get two pairs of interchangeable hands, I guess, just because, you know, I mean, the figure is so detailed and stuff that they don't really call for many accessories, but you get these, like, crazy, I want to make sure we get this real clearly. Look at, like, the burnt skin going on on this burnt Fiend figure. You got, like, the sculpted details there with the reds and the darker reds and pink tones. You got the hurt and heel glove. The heel glove, like, ripped off because it was burnt. I mean, dude, that's really insane. We will not see this again. You will not get this again. I guess you will in the... You guys can see the Hurt and Heal. Like, they're completely different. I'm guessing that we will get this. It is in the Ultimate Edition line with, with Alexa Bliss, right? It's Alexa Bliss and the Burnt Fiend. So we're going to get this reused. It's going to be... I don't know how they're going to really expand on this Ultimate Fiend and the difference between the Ultimate and the Elite. I don't know how they're going to do that. But you guys can see all the sculpted detail. It's pretty insanity. And then, of course, they did sculpt brand new Open Hands, which look good, too. So you get the Hurt and Heal there again with all this burnt skin detail, dude. Like, how incredible is this? I mean, it's insane. It really is. Very odd and one-off, but it's crazy. You know, they gotta get the repeated mold. That's why I'm guessing we got an ultimate edition of the Burnt Fiend, is so that we could get these molds twice. That way they aren't just making one-of-one one molds for one singular figure and then get rid of it forever. So, because you're not gonna reuse this, right? You're not gonna reuse this, so I understand it. I wouldn't be shocked if they did like a crazy Monster Mutant series again. They would have reused these hands again, I guarantee it. So, there you go. So, getting into the Fiend, I mean, on camera, this thing's hard to read, man. This is a hard thing to read. That one eye on the right too, or the, the right eye or the left eye, depending on how you're looking at it, just looks a bit odd. I do love all the sculpt and like the paintwork on this guy. You guys will notice he does have a huge neck flap. So when you take the head off, you guys will see here, he has a massive neck flap and this just looks weird. It's honestly hard to read on camera. It's hard to read in person. It really is. You have like this burnt hair here that's like dark brown. I feel like it probably should be black, right? Or like a gray color, but you do have a lot of nice sculpted detail going throughout. Again, they're going to get reused out of this, which 
which is why I think they're giving us an Ultimate Edition Burnt Fane. You probably think, how can they make it any different? And I'm right there with you. I just think that's why they're doing it, to get some reuse so they don't only use one mold there. But if we go down into the chest, you guys will see you have all this different stuff going on. I don't know why the damn exposure is so high. I'm going to move some of these lights so that we can make sure that we get a good grasp of what you're getting here because you have like this brown, nice stuff going on. You have all this gray detail going throughout. You have the red threads coming through. Nice sculpted sleeves on here. I will say, I feel like he looks a bit wonky. Like from this angle, doesn't he just look wonky like the shoulders or something? He just looks a bit odd the way the head goes to the shoulders, to the, to the you know, to the traps, to the stomach, to the torso. It just looks a bit odd. But you are getting nice sculptures here. Like look at all the skin. You're getting this nice like burnt skin going on in the red color and you got the double jointed arms with the sleeves. They aren't pinless, but that's not a huge deal to me, honestly. Articulation is actually limited, which we'll get into in just a moment, but you do have this like sculpted flap coming off the front. Interesting style crotch right there on the back. You do get the prayer hands. Then you have that nice gray color going throughout all these wrinkles. You do get like the, you know, the different strings and the blackness. Very nice looking pants. You got like a nice dry brush technique going on throughout. Nice pockets and everything. Dude, like it's got a ton of detail in it, man. It really does. And it looks really cool. I just think he looks a little bit frumpy lumpkins. But going down into the boots, you do have like the Ultimate Edition Fiend boots, which we've seen before. You got some nice buckles painted on there, which is really nice. You do have the nice purple boots on there as well. He's got the toe articulation, so these are Ultimate boots. But let's zoom out here because I want you guys to see the full scope of what you're getting. Again, I don't know. He's even making my camera all wacky. That's how crazy this figure is. But can't look down. And I mean, he looked down a decent amount. He can look up not so much. You do get the full head rotation. It's a decent ab crunch and back. It's not horrific. He can't really spin all the way around. Like you notice when you do this, you'll see the torso start to separate from the crotch right there. And that's because you do have this flap on the front right here. And he does have like this extended sculpt on his crotch. But he can do a decent split right there. He is on ball joints. You get the upper thigh cut, which is a bit limited unless you rotate it out a little bit. He can't really kick forward that much at all because of the thick thighs. He does have double jointed knees right there. He does have boot rotation. He's got the ankle pivot and the toe articulation. And he does have the shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed arms. Like he can articulate pretty well in the upper area. The figure does feel pretty good in hand. I just think he looks odd. I don't know how to really describe it. He just is an odd looking figure, man. I mean, that's just the way it is. But I guess he's a burnt fiend. So what, what else do you expect? I don't know. It may be overrated. Who knows? Before your fiend figure comparisons, guys, here is his elite fiend up next to the ultimate fiend. You guys will notice that the elite fiend is a bit taller there. And this one is, uh, I guess they're right around the same size there. I think this figure is still the best fiend. I think the elite or the ultimate fiend has better articulation, of course. But this one just has that girth of the fiend. I still think his legs could be bigger and longer. But yeah, the ultimate edition just looks frumpy lumpkins. Hate to see it. But there's your fiend comparisons. And then we do have the Bray Wyatt Elite 85, which honestly, this may be the best figure here. And nobody thinks so except me. But there is your burnt fiend figure with the ultimate and the elite. And yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. It's a crazy release, man. It really is a crazy release. You have a bunch of different stuff going on with it. It's hard. It's, it's a hard figure to gauge because I really do like the sculpt and everything. I just don't know how I feel about the rest of it. Now for Adam Cole's accessory, we do get a steel chair. It is in just a flat matte black colorway. We've seen this multiple times, right? It's got the pad there, which is very weird. Like they gave him a padded chair. You gonna hit somebody with a padded chair, Brad? Huh? You're going to hit somebody with a padded chair? What's that going to do? Give them comfort when you hit them? Yeah, I don't think so. So, you do have that. No Undisputed Era logos or anything. We also have Adam Cole's shirt, which is a pretty pretty solid shirt. I feel like the graphic isn't as crisp as I'd like, but you got Adam Cole Bebe AC logo on there. It is Velcroed. I don't know why it looked like it wasn't Velcro, but it is Velcroed. It fits the figure well, as you guys did see, so that looks pretty good there. I like what we got going on there. I, I love cloth accessories. It'll never, ever, ever get old. We also have Mike holding hands, which we've seen six million times, and then out of the packaging, he also comes with his Adam Cole Bebe shooter style hands. And he also comes with a removable Undisputed Era armband, which looks way cleaner than it used to in the past. I actually like the way this looks a lot. It's got a nice yellow color going on. I like that. So it is removable if you don't want to use that, but uh, there's Adam Cole's accessories. All right, guys, so diving into Adam Cole, starting out with the head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. I don't have any issues with it. I think it captures the likeness, you know, like kind of the squinty eyed look of Adam Cole, you know, when he's making that expression, that little smirk right there. I like it. You know, I don't have any, any problems with it. I will say when he was first released out of the packaging, I felt like my one eye 
eye, like this eye right here was a little more closed. But now that I look at it from this angle, it actually looks a lot better. The sculpt is different. I like that it's like his wet, slip ba slick back hair. I like the way that looks and everything like that. I think the true effects looks good on here. I still feel like his epic moments head sculpt may be a little bit better, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can let me know, like the, you know, the Undisputed Era 3-pack over there. But at the end of the day, I I'm digging it. I like it. I like the... I don't have a problem with the body mold. You know, usually I don't like this body mold for anybody, but I think guys like Sami Zayn, Adam Cole, you know, that kind of era. I don't like it for Daniel Bryan, to be honest. It's it's eh. But I think for Adam Cole, this, this body mold works perfectly. You do have the double jointed arms right here, which are fantastic. You know, he can sniff his finger. Got an elbow pad there. You do have the nice teal tights. I guess we can call this like the Jacksonville Jaguar gear is what this was reminding me of. It looks a lot darker in person than it does on video, to be honest with you. It kind of looks a, little, a bit bright and blue on, and on video, and it looks actually better, honestly. But it's more of like a Jacksonville Jaguar type color. You do have like the AC graphics and the gold and black stripes. You have the like two finger logo there. You got baby on the back and this nice vindication style font. Love the way that looks. I'll probably even get a tattoo in that style font, so I love that. You have his tattoo over here, which looks really good. He has these baby legs, pun intended, which I've never liked. I do not like that. I wish they gave him William Regal legs. He has nice big knee pads on there that I hate, and then solid black boots. No Undisputed Era legs or, or boots going on there, but I love Adam Cole. One of my favorites in all of wrestling. He was my favorite in NXT for a while, and now he's one of my favorites in AEW. And then for your Adam Cole figure comparisons, here is the Elite Series 92. You have the Epic Moments fix-up, or no, this is the Elite 71 fix-up, the Epic Moments fix-up. I have another Elite 71 somewhere, but then we have the Kyle O'Reilly, like, War Games fix-up Adam Cole, where we kind of mix some parts around to make our own War Games Adam Cole. And then we have the Fan Takeover, you know, little central deal there that should have been the War Games camo. Piece of shit. But at the end of the day, I dig all the Adam Coles. I am going to fix this guy up. I think he needs William Regal legs is the legs that I like to put on it. I just think giving them that little bit of extra height does wonders for him. I just think this makes him look baby, right? I mean, he just looks tiny, bro. It's, it's just what it is. I hate to say it, but that's how it is. Nonetheless, that's your Adam Cole figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite Series 92 review of the Burnt Fiend and Adam Cole, bro. I, I just, at the end of the day, just all of my thoughts collectively, I love all the sculpt work that we have on this Burnt Fiend. I think they did an excellent job on the sculpting. Like, all the burntness, you got all the little wraps and the little pieces of cloth and all the stitching and the details all throughout the entire figure. It's very nice. It's very impressive indeed. I have zero doubts about that whatsoever. But I think at the end of the day, it just is kind of an odd figure, right? It's very odd. I think the head sculpt could have better... I like what we have out, out of all the sculpt work. I just think that, like, the shoulders look odd when they're posed down. I think that the, like, sleeve shape is a bit weird. Like, as he comes around here, I don't know. It, it, or, I just don't feel like it quite captures the girth of Bray Wyatt. Much like uh, kind of a theme, right? It's kind of been a theme that we have seen from the Fiend and Bray Wyatt throughout his entire run in WWE. I just feel like his figures never really captured him well. I thought the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt was really, really nice. I just feel like they make him too small. I mean, they make Adam Cole too small too, in my opinion, but the Fiend being this big character and being this guy that's supposed to be super intimidating, they usually make him look like a frumpy lumpkin, you know what I'm saying? So, it still has that frumpy lumpkin look. It does have a lot of cool things about it, like the, you know, the details and the, the, the paint job is insane. Like, the level of detail that they have in the paint and the sculpt is incredible. Incredible, but I just think that it could have been executed a little bit more as far as the build of him. I think his legs need to be a little bit longer. And I don't know, is anybody else feeling the frumpy lumpkin look of the Fiend? I just feel like he's always looked kind of frumpy. And maybe he looks frumpy in real life. I don't know. Or maybe he's not living up to what I think the Fiend should be or something. I, I don't know what's going on there. But I just think the figure has an odd look. And I guess it's supposed to be because he's a burnt Fiend. He's literally a character burnt alive. So, I mean, I get it. But I think that the details are fantastic. I think if you put him in a certain pose, like the one he's in right now, doesn't make the figure look bad whatsoever. I think it looks really cool. But I think it being a gimmick that got crapped on, you know, with the burntness and then he came back just super fine and dandy. It was very odd. The Fiend, I think that just his figures and just the character Bray Wyatt overall is just a perfect encapturement of the Fiend and Bray Wyatt's run in all of WWE. How they pretty much just dropped the ball with him across the board. He had his bangers here and there. He had his good stuff here and there. He was a fantastic worker. I've been saying he should work in Hollywood all along. But it just kind of sums it up. But at the end of the day, man, if you would like to grab the Burnt Fiend figure, it's not my favorite figure whatsoever. And this set, this set ranked is going to be absolutely insane, but it's a great grab for the Adam Cole if you want to have double jointed arms. I do love the gear. At first glance, I didn't know if I would like the gear, but I love the Bay Bay graphic and the hand graphics and the AC. It's a sick-ass gear. I really like this gear. I'd honestly like to get more in this gear, but it will be his final one. Hopefully, we can get some more from AEW and Unrivaled and Jazzwares. We, of course, will. I think the head sculpt's solid. I like the double jointed arms, of course. 
I still think they make his legs too small, but I guess we don't have to worry about it anymore, right? Because this is the last Adam Cole from Mattel that we will be receiving. But that is going to wrap up my two-in-one review, man. If you guys would like this set, go get them over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Go grab them right now. I would recommend the Adam Cole highly. I think his figures are kind of hard to get, so there you go. And the Burnt Fiend, I guess it's just up to your personal taste. I don't think it's a must-grab, and it's not just like this most ultra insane figure that you must receive. His articulation is limited. He kind of looks a bit wonky, but he is super duper detailed and he looks great. He would be great in photography. I can tell you that right now, but there you go, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. So glad we finally have our Elite Series 92, but I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like WWE when they destroyed Bray Wyatt. You cross the line.